If the last video was all about just giving your hair a rest. So today it's about now we are back to work week and we want to get cute again. So one of the things that I want to show you guys, um, you know I wear a lot of wigs and I want to show you something new that I'm carrying on my side. You might have seen these, but if not, I want to hit you guys to the wig grip. And some of you guys are wig wearers due to your hair loss or your thinning or something like that. And I just want to show you a few tips. Like I said, my hair is really thin as well, um, but I have braided my hair down. I went and got my hair braided into two braids. I take the back, crisscross it, pin it, pin it, and voila, you have it. This is pretty basic. I'm sure you guys know how to braid your hair. Get it nice and flat. Be sure that your braids come down so that when you put your wig on, you don't get that humpy head on both sides of your head, like two big nuggets, right? And then you guys, I wanna share with you some color sprays that are like my favorite. And it is the Magic Spray. I love these. You can get them in any, by any brand or any company you like. I just like these because they spray into that scalp with that. I love that dispenser. You know, it's really skinny right here at the tip and I love it. And what I do basically is I just go in and I just, you see how I just, made my hair a little bit thicker this is like my favorite frame you see how thin i am here and then when i go in and i just make that part a little bit thicker all right i just really start out like that all right and they have it in medium dark and light so make sure if you have blonde hair you go with a more lighter or if you just want to create a little bit of softness then you go with the light brown uh, color spray First of all, I love to put on a wig cap because I want my braids to stay for a week, all right? So, I'm putting my wig cap on, putting on like this. I'm moving it back a little bit further just so you don't see that line because sometimes you see that line, right? And then I'm gonna put my wig grip right on top, all right? So I know I got a lot on, but it's just my sort of method. And then I crisscross this right off the back. Check it out, check it out. All right, I make it as tight as a Velcro grip and I lay it on like that, okay? All right, that's first step. But let's get back to the wig grip. So I put my color spray on first and then I went back to my wig grip. These are great because, great because it protects your edges. So when you apply your wig, right after you put your wig grip on, you align it with your hairline, which is why you see the little mesh part in the middle and you pin all around your wig grip. It allows your wig to stay on your head and stay nice and secure. And guys, I only glue the front of my hair. I don't really glue the edges right here because it's just not necessary. If I wanted to glue it to my whole face, I could, but I'm just not really that girl. And I like to take it off every night. So I am a bit more practical. And remember my little method I told you guys, tuck and roll. So you see, I've rolled over those edges right there. And it basically just gives you a little bit of room to take your hair out and put it over the wig. Just giving you a lot more of a natural look. So if you get a little bit of wind blowage, she not on blast. All right, so that's just some tips. I'm gonna curl and style and don't forget to get your wig grip, all right? Basically, the goal is when you take your pins, you know I love my favorite French pins, and you tuck and roll it right around, and you take that pin and you put it right around the wig cap, okay? So that it feels like it's kind of coming out the face, but typically you would take your hair and just pull it out right along these edges, okay? So that's the goal. You just take a little bit of your hair. My hair is a little bit finer and it's all gelled in nice and neat. But I just take a little bit of my hair and I just pull it out right around the hairline, okay? And that's when I go out for that color spray and I go with a little bit of a lighter one and I just spray it right here. Just it gives you a little bit of a shadow around here and it just kind of makes it look feel a little bit more seamless out the scalp, okay? All right, she reads, honey, check her out. All right, so make sure you guys go and get the wig grip, all right? These are great, we did come in two colors, we have them in brown and we have them in black. All right guys, I have finished, I've got my edges together, we use our spray, we put our wig cap on, and she's cute, she's ready to go. All right, so don't forget to get your wig grip, protect those edges, help your piece stay on, latch it on there with your bobby pins, you don't need much to be cute, all right? Don't forget to get your wig grip. See ya.
Yes, we did.